using the Exterior Angle Theorem, Lesson 11.2e. The Exterior Angle Theorem states that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of its remote interior angles. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4. So remember what we learned before in the previous videos, a remote interior angle is an interior angle of a polygon, so it's inside this triangle, and it's not adjacent to the exterior angle. That means it's not next to it. So this three angle is not a remote interior angle because it's next to this exterior angle. Angle one and angle two are remote interior angles. Let's start by looking at this diagram. We have a triangle. We can see there's an extension here. We know this is a right triangle because we see the box here. And we know that this is 90 degrees. It's also given. The measure of angle A is 6x minus 1 degree, and the measure of angle B is 7x degrees. Well, we can use the exterior angle theorem to find the measures of interior angles of a triangle. We write the exterior angle theorem as it applies to this triangle. It's the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is going to equal the measure of angle ACD. So remember the middle letter is the vertex. So we have angle ACD, so that's the 90 degrees. We substitute the given angle measures. We have 6x minus 1 degrees plus 7x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. We remove the parentheses and add the like terms. So now, if you notice when I remove the parentheses, even this term 6x got a degree sign. We have 6x degrees minus 1 degree plus 7x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Well, 6x and 7x are like terms. We get 13x degrees minus 1 degree. And that's equal to 90 degrees. Since this is a minus 1 degree, we can add 1 degree to both sides of the equal sign. That's going to create a zero pair and eliminate this. And we're going to have 91 degrees on this side. Now we have 13x degrees is equal to 91 degrees. We divide both sides by this coefficient, 13. 13 over 13, same numerator and denominator, so that's 1x degrees, and we have 91 degrees divided by 13, that gives us 7. We know x is equal to 7, but we're not done because this is 6x minus 1 degree and 7x degree. We know x is equal to 7. Now we use the value of x to find the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B. Well, the measure of angle A is 6x minus 1 degrees, if x is equal to 7, we substitute it in and get 6 times 7 minus 1. That's 42 degrees minus 1 degree. That's 41 degrees. And for the measure of angle B, we substitute 7 for x and get 49 degrees. We can check it. 41 degrees plus 49 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. That's true. The measure of angle A and B plus B is equal to the measure of angle ACD. The answers must satisfy the given expressions and their sum must equal the exterior measure. Let's take a look at this diagram. We've got our exterior measure, 48 degrees. We see our extension. We have our triangle. Measure of angle A is 3y plus 1 degree and the measure of angle B is 2y plus 2 degrees. We remove the parentheses and we combine like terms. We have a 3y and a 2y that gives us 5y. We have 1 degree and 2 degrees that gives us 3 degrees, and it's set equal to 48 degrees. Since this is a plus 3, we can minus 3 from both sides to create a zero pair and eliminate this one. Now we have 5y degrees is equal to 45 degrees. We took 3 away from the 48. We've got 45 degrees now. We divide both sides by the coefficient 5, same numerator and denominator, so we have 1y, and 45 divided by 5 is 9. We know y is equal to 9. Now we can solve for these angle measures. So, knowing that y is equal to 9, we substitute it into these expressions for angle A and angle B to find their angle measures. 
Since y is equal to 9, we substitute it in and have 3 times 9 plus 1, which is 27 plus 1, which is 28 degrees. That's the measure of angle A. The measure of angle B is 2 times 9 plus 2, that's 18 plus 2, that's 20 degrees. 28 degrees plus 20 degrees is equal to 48 degrees. The answer satisfies the given expressions and their sum is equal to the exterior angle. So this is the diagram we just used for the last problem. Be careful when writing the equation. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B will be equal to the exterior angle measure, not 180 degrees or anything like that. It's equal to this outside, this exterior angle measure. The sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles is equal to the measure of the related exterior angle. We're finished with lesson 11.2. We're moving on to 11.3. We're going to talk about discovering angle, angle similarity. Have a wonderful day and join me for the next lesson. Bye.